It's time for the Habs fans hangout. Game number 74, Florida in Montreal to take on the Habs and possibly sweep them for the season series. Hey, everybody, I'm Rick. Welcome to Talking Habs, where you get your daily fix of Blue Blanc Rouge. We have game number 74, Florida, who Montreal hasn't been able to beat in their last eight meetings, are in town. Um, the dirty Florida Panthers. It's going to be a dirty game, a physical game. Uh, let's see. There, oh, uh, Florida's on second game of back to back, which doesn't really help Montreal this year. They haven't really done well uh, against, I don't think, have they won a game against maybe one this year against a team that's on a back to back second game? And they are not. Um, There is that. I believe um, I believe it's Monty starting tonight. I didn't get the uh, I didn't get the lineups that came out today yet. Uh, so I believe it's Monty tonight. Uh, I don't know who it is for Florida. I uh, let's see. Uh, Gooley is back after his one game suspension, and uh, that, there you go. Uh, they're just showing Slav Slav ten points in his last ten games. I didn't know that. That's new. Uh, so, yeah. So, uh, it's going to be a tough game for Montreal here. Um, Florida not playing well currently, but, you know, you could say they're due. And what better team to, uh, to you know, win a game against a team that hasn't beat you in eight games. Montreal could be due. Montreal could be due. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, let's see who's here. Hey, Guru, welcome in. Uh, Phil, welcome in. Uh, audio messed up, but is back. It happens apparently. Sometimes it happens at the beginning of the show, it seems like. I was underwater, didn't you see? Uh, who's, I don't have the refs. They, they, I didn't release them before my, um, preview. So I don't know who it is. It depends. There's one guy. Uh, I think it's Pierre Lambert. He's actually okay for, with Montreal. They're not all, they're not all bad, but they're mostly all bad. Why a dirty Quebecer? Why Quebecers take showers, you know, and baths. We're clean. And what? I'm not a Quebecer? I noticed this. Two French guys saying, hey, you're a dirty Quebec. What about me? It's Furlat and Lequier. Those are the two uh, refs. No non-frozen water in Quebec. Sorry, old. What is what the fuck does that mean? Honestly, what the hell does that mean, Phil? I have no idea what that means. The racism, man. The racism in Quebec. All right. So if you're here, say hi. Don't don't only let the racists talk to me. Everybody should be able to talk to me. Everybody survived the carbon tax increase. You still have your freedom. Right? We're all good. I still don't know who's starting. Yeah, Monty's getting the start. 
Any changes to my lineups? I had none. I had the right lineup. Nice. The other day you found you found a dead mouse and you could finally sleep warm in its carcass. Uh, how small are you? Mouse mice aren't that big. Moose. Moose is different. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, bad eyes. My fault. It's funny. They show Nick Suzuki on pace for another career year. Uh, he's three points over his previous high. It's a career year already. What are they, fucking stupid? Yeah, okay, everybody. I got it. Moose. Hey, Bruce. Hey, we rhymed. I said Moose and then, hey, Bruce. Hey there, lawyer. How's it going? Keep. JT Loose. You want to enlighten us on who JT is? I probably do know. You feel the Panthers look beatable lately, and we can pull off the upset tonight, I hope. Um, no, true, they, they have been, uh, but they could be due to turn that around, and what better team than a team you've beaten eight times in a row? So, I don't know. We'll have to see. Montreal's going to have to play a good game. And a tough game, too, because Florida is dirty, especially when they play Montreal. So, yeah, lawyer, I've heard, I just just did, actually, um, five minutes ago, ten minutes ago, and was uh, hugely disappointed to hear that. That's pretty sad for uh, for all the newfies out there who uh, love their growlers. Um, uh, I'm, trying, I'm stuck on his name all of a sudden. Uh, but that guy I want to have on the show. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, it's just that's sad. What the hell, Tuck? What did you write there? Somebody is sick? You feel I always feel we're not good? Really? I think you got that wrong. I mean, there's games where, listen, we're not always the best team. That's that's true. Um, but I don't think I say they're always not good. I don't agree with you there. We should have a face-off in about uh, two minutes, I would think. Matt. Said he'll be joining me later, maybe. So I don't know. That's Kachuk. And you say writing it like a peasant. No, that's writing it like someone who doesn't know how to write. No? Um, no, I don't think that you have it right at all. Even with the sex, sorry, Bruce, try again, I guess. It is going to be Stolars. I don't know if that's any better because he's got better numbers than, uh, than Bobrovsky, although in 30, I think it's like 30 games less, but still he's got a 202 and a 925 save percentage. Uh, yeah, we're, uh, it's going to be tough tonight. We haven't beaten them yet, yet, and uh, let's see. We scored, I think, five goals in the three games that we played against Florida so far. I don't know. Hey, Lucas. 
it's going to be a, I really expect it's going to be a a dirty Panthers team. And like even more so because they need to win this game. Who now? Speak of the devil. Oh, he likes the format. He likes my thumbnail tonight. It's not the first. I've just. It's not the first one I've. Not the first time I've used that style. I, hell, I did that for like. Two weeks, I think I used that. He's just noticing my thumbnail. All right. We're underway at the Bell Center. No, we're not. The audio is. The video is not. Nice. Perfect, Sportsnet. You're just so perfect. Right from the start of the game, it's fucked up. All right. Hopefully my mood stays okay. I don't know. Not in the best mood today. You like you didn't notice. <laughs> oh boy. <coughs> Uh, let me see. Jay Jafet. Sorry, having trouble processing. Bob played uh, last night, got pulled. Stolars came in. It was a physical game versus Toronto. 49 hits to 44 hits. Verhege left, didn't come back to game. He may be out tonight, depending. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't see whether he's there or not. And I didn't know all that about the, the Leafs game. I just have trouble believing the Leafs were in a physical game. Oh, Matthew Kachuk, not in the lineup. He's ill tonight. Montreal's got a chance here. They're on the second night of back-to-backs. Kachuk is out. Is Verhage in there? We don't know. Like, if they don't have Verhage and, and Kachuk, that's pretty, uh, yeah, this, it gives Montreal a chance, I think. What? That was, did the guy go down that is tripping? What the fucking hell is this? Yeah, maybe you ought to open your goddamn eyes and read a book to you learn what a minor for tripping is. Oh, maybe I should do it. He did trip him. <laughs> you know what? I was looking at his stick and I didn't, I didn't see the foot. Well, I mean, he lost his footing because the bar foot came up. Is that not tripping? Yeah, it's a good power play. Uh, 26, 25 point something percent. So Armia gets hauled down and then bopped on the head as he's down. No call. Why should there be a call?
He missed short side from where he was. Wow. Okay. Uh, Lucas, I don't know what the numbers are. You're right. I see. I see seats. There are lots of them. At spots. Wow. First period. Now it's probably because the end of the season, and they're not gonna. I would imagine. Uh, face off just over Montreal's blue line. Well, at least they killed the power play off. Much else, still no shots. Two shots to none. No score. Almost four minutes in on my screen. Zeta almost got in there. <laughs> almost five minutes in. No shots, basically. Well, I mean, it's early, I guess. Two to one now in shots. Oh, Gooley with a rip. Stolars with a glove save. Uh, it's Monty, yeah, uh, TNG. I imagine it's going to be, um, I don't know how it's going to work. Got Monty tonight, probably Primo on Thursday. Then you got back to back on the weekend with Toronto and the Rangers. I don't know who plays what. Could save Monty there. So uh, Verhage and Kachuk are out tonight. I mean, they got a chance. Uh, who's who? It's, oh, uh, you're not watching, right? Okay. Because, yeah, it's Monty in there. Habs have only given up five goals in their last four games. That's not bad. Did I have that? I don't think I have that. Yeah. 
They said he's sick, Lucas. And they said Kachuk was sick tonight, so I imagine it's just the one game. So we're almost about seven minutes in. Nearly seven minutes gone. No score. Five four are the shots in favor of I don't know who. Florida, I think. Frozen orange ball. Yeah, that's Doug. Uh, Doug is pretty good, yeah. Just uh, uh, BL is the one to beat right now. Commercial break. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Talk about whatever you want, by the way. At, at any point in the show, just whatever you want. My brain is, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm feeling well today or not. Um, and my brain is kind of frozen orange ball. To, my brain is frozen orange brain? No. That's how bad it is. I can't even think of something. Yeah, thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Really appreciate that, too. Oh, I love when you do that. I absolutely love when you tell me to score before I see it. You know that. Most goalie steals. I haven't seen this one. Matt Monty with eight steals. Top five in the league. Seven minutes in. I guess uh, that was a lie there from uh, Matt, or he's just way ahead of me. Where's the goal? Nice goal. Good thing Savard didn't get his head or his face kicked in by a skate. Ooh. 
Ooh. Slaff to flex a puck, but Stolarz made the save. <clears throat> Slap looking to have a good game, I think. Start a new uh, point streak. Shots are 4-3 for Florida. No score. 11 minutes left. Ooh, that was close. Just couldn't get right to the net with it. What the hell? They just let him walk in. Lundell, the score. What the hell happened there? They just let the guy walk in. So Lundell, I think somebody had Lundell. Come on, Andy, what the hell was that? Yeah, good hands, but I mean, what was Andy thinking? Oh, look, I'm going to watch that play happen. Good pass by Galley. Ah, oh, I knew he couldn't get anything on it. If he got his stick on that instead of the, like, the toe of it. Ah, the play's picking up now. Yeah, who's who? Maybe. Now they score. Armia ties it up 1 1. From in the, uh, the, uh, the low slot. I don't know who passed it to him, but see the replay. Oh, Pizetta shot. Rebound goes to Armia standing right there. And he has an open net. That's his 13th or 14th. I don't know. One, one shots are eight to five. Favorite of Montreal. Look at that. Armia with his 14th goal. When is that as high with Montreal 14? Oh, that was close. Oh, Montreal's on here tonight, man. Nine minutes left in the first on my screen. We're tied at one.
Oh, oh, oh. They're getting, they're getting some nice uh, passing going on. You know, considering um, uh, Florida not playing well over the last, say, nine games, right? Uh, down Kachuk, down Verhage. Montreal's got a legit chance now. They keep playing like this. I'd be cool if this is actually a good game and not a blowout. Save. Monty he's hung, he hangs on to that while I have a face-off. But, of course, you guys know that because you were about 40 seconds ahead of me. 20, anyway. Uh, Lucas, yeah, I mean, I think you got to chalk it up to his work with the sports psycholo psychologist. Um, and that, I guess, you know, combination, but yeah, definitely, I mean, you know, he's playing well. Um, I, I think that 14 goals is his high with Montreal because I don't remember him getting more than 13. And the last three seasons, it's been seven. So, yeah, I think that's a, not a career high maybe, but it's a, it, it is a Montreal high for Armia. But they didn't say that. They should have said that. Anderson needs to improve his game. He sure does. I don't know what's wrong with Andy, but I don't know. Can't stand around like that and do nothing. Don't go at the guy that's breaking into your net or at your net. I mean, really? Caulfield goal would be nice. Wow. Wow. Uh, Slaff in his last 25 games is on a 74-point pace. Wow. Face-off is to the right of Monty. One by Florida. Good save, Monty, there. Another Monty save and hang on. Oh, Cousins is on the ice. Knock his ass. Goon. Puck goes into the Habs bench. Well, um, it would be great if Montreal wins. I mean, eight times uh, they beat us in a row. We're due. They're playing lousy right now. Let them continue doing that. Last nine games... I didn't, I didn't ca catch all that, but they're trending down the Panthers.
Ah, uh, Jesus. Barkov with his got to get a goal against Montreal. and I mean, that was a nice dangly goal. What the hell, man? Who'd he beat there? Everybody. No, okay, got it. He gets a nice pass in the slot, and he just goes right around Gooley, I guess. No, not around him, but by him. And he de he dekes out Monty. Oh well, but I mean Barkov gets a goal. It seems like every game against Montreal, Barkov gets a goal. Two one Florida. They're also up on shots now, eleven to ten. Uh, David, yeah, no, I didn't. I actually picked, uh, what do I got? 5-3, Florida. I, my feeling was it's going to, uh, um, yeah, now you can put it out there, Matt. That's the way to do it. Um, my feeling is that uh, Florida's going to bounce back. It's Montreal. They beat us eight in a row. They kill us most of the time. They're going to just play a dirty game and they're going to beat us that was my feeling i didn't want to be right but it's not over yet uh who's who i know eh? i'm glad it was only one Jack I shot it's deflected out. Going for a commercial break. So it started out slow, but I mean most of this first period's been pretty good. It started out pretty slow. TNG's got seven six Florida. Did uh, somebody? I know somebody had Lundell. Is that person here in the? I'm sure if they were, they just said something. But I can go look while we talk. Let's see. Somebody had Lundell. Uh, not there. Whoop. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, I don't even know who that is. V V Rodak had five two Florida with Lundell. Yep, somebody had it. Oddly, not somebody that any of us really knows. So either just a regular viewer could be a regular viewer that just never talks in the chat. It could be a Florida fan. It could be anybody. I hope, but listen, if they win, I, I hope they know to get in touch with me because I don't know who that is. <laughs> now, I'll send a message that, that send me. Uh, I'll just go on his, uh, I'll, I'll reply to his comment and uh, tell him to email me. Don't know if he's Canadian or not. Anyway, somebody's in the running. That's always good. We've only had four winners this year, which is better than some years. We've had one year with none. So not a bad, actually, for you guys, it was a good year. Coming to a halt soon. Uh, we are what? I said it's exactly two weeks away. Uh, last game of the season, two weeks away. Uh, it's just not, no, well, I know your name. I know who you are. V. Rodak, I've not heard of before. That's a new one on me. And who's who says, hello, Mr. The Raspberry. Oh, Laframboise. <laughs> yeah, okay, I got it. Now I got it. Five 
Five minutes left here in the first period. 12-10 shots on goal for Florida, and they're up 2-1. Icing call here. Sorry. My shoulder bothering me. It's why it looked weird trying to lift my arm up. <laughs> That's what happens when you get old, man. Not that I'm crazy old, but still old enough to have aches and pains. Under five left. Calgary will play in Red Deer. They're getting a new stadium. Well, that's an old stadium. They kind of really do need one, uh, an arena. But, yeah. Isn't it always like that? Taxpayers pay, and the owner gets away with, uh, like, a, it's like a robbery. Well, you know, people people want to vote for, conser I mean, I, for conservative. You want to vote conservative? What happens? Under four. Not bad. They just showed Matheson, previous career high, 34 points. He's got 51. So it's a hell of a, a hell of a career year. A billion to build an arena? Jesus. Born to be a hab, I don't know. You gotta ask Matt. I couldn't tell you. He did not say anything to me. Under three to go in the first. Ooh. It was a good shot by Matheson. Armia draws a penalty. Montreal going on the power play. Hooking. Stenland. Two minutes for hooking. That was like a weak call, was that not? That was a weak hooking call. And I'll take it, I guess, right? But it was weak. Anyway, get a goal on it. It'd be great.
Lord knows there are plenty of weak calls against Montreal, but I'll take this one for sure. Okay, that was a high stick, not an icing call. I knocked down by a high stick. Because they're on the power play. It shouldn't be icing. <laughs> but we've seen that they actually, I, we saw one game where, I don't know if it was a Montreal game where they called uh, icing on a power play. Hey, Chicago Steve, how's it going? Slap is playing amazing. And only going to get amazing earth. Uh, 1,012 penalty minutes for Florida, second most in the NHL. Well, I thought the puck went out. Florida player batted the puck out. So it's going to be five on three Montreal power play. Amazinger. Hey, why not make up new words? These refs make up calls. Why not make up new words? This is not a made up call, but it's a delay of game. Come on, five on three. Can you put one in? 58 seconds of it. Look at that. Oh, that was close. Cop it to Suzuki. Goalie was on to them. My boys. God damn it. A one-timer by Suzuki. Good save by Stolars. Try it. How many times are you going to try the same move, man? Here we go. Who is that? A Slav got... Well, who is he fighting? Who was that? Who was it that took him on? Stolar's got good numbers. Ekblad. Ekblad and Slav. Wow. Offsetting roughing penalties. Yeah, it was going wide. Ah, you can't hit the net. Two man is over. 
period's going to end. Habs will have like 47 seconds, 49 seconds. A power play in the second period. Uh, shit, man. Five on three. You can't score. That's not good. All right, so we got an intermission there. We can talk about whatever you want. Cole missed the net on both shots there. He's got to hit those. Yeah, so I said he couldn't hit the net. Slaff really roughed him up bad? No, I don't think so. He went down first, Slaff. But he held his own overall. I mean, that's, that's fine. We're going to uh, is uh, uh, a veteran, experienced veteran. Hey, Harry. Did I don't know. To me, I didn't see him get beat up. I, I don't know. Maybe I didn't I wasn't paying attention enough. I don't know. I thought Slav held his own with him, but I don't know that he beat up Ekblad. Being sarcastic, okay. You get away with it then. Hey there, Joe. Oh, excuse me. First Domi, now Slavkovsky. He must have a kink for that stuff. Ekblad? Uh -huh. Yeah, Domi was... Uh, wasn't that Domi's first season? In preseason, they had a fight, Ekblad and Domi? And if I'm correct, Domi beat Ekblad up a little bit. Just a little bit. Stupid commercial. Yeah, exactly. Got suspended, and then um, yeah, and I remember he. They didn't. Um, what, what word I'm looking for? What am I looking for? Yeah, it was in his first preseason, so he didn't. They didn't get a really good look at Domi. Uh, if I'm correct, because of that, till the game started. Uh, Lucas, I think you missed the word there. Who's who are you talking about? Getting his confidence back. Slap's got his confidence. Esposito was a great player, yeah. When Cole, you're talking about Cole. I think Cole is too in his head. You know, I, maybe at this point it could be a little bit. I think the shoulder is just not where it needs to be yet. That's all. That's all it is, I think. He's just still good. I think by next season his, his shoulder will be back to normal. Sorry if I made a lot of noise there. Uh, Lucas, what are you on, like the 10th floor? How high can you be? Oh, House of Dragons coming back. Oh, nice. I enjoyed that. All right, people, you're here in the room. Um, let's talk about uh, either the game, whatever you want to talk about. All it takes is some finger action on the keyboard. That's what she said last night. You think Cole is worn down? No, I don't think so. Got 55 points. He skates like the wind. I mean, he, I no, Cole does not look worn down. Not in my opinion.
Randy Mack, Mr. Randy Mack, 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 all dressed in black, black, black. Duh. No, I'm I'm too old. You think Cole has been figured out by opposing teams? There's a little bit of that, but no, I think it's clear his shot is, it's his shoulder, I think. Uh, it needs a little bit more time. From everything I've heard and from other players who say uh, it takes over a year for that injury for your shoulder to feel back to normal. I think that's what it is. No, I think when they say figure it out, I mean they know he's going to shoot. I mean, they're, but but you're right. He's changed it up, and now with the option of Slaff on the other side, they don't know 100 percent if he's going to shoot. And he's more well rounded, and he's added that playmaking. So when he does get the goal scoring back to where it should be, he's going to be doing just fine. And even in between, he's got 55 points. That's not bad. More than Jonathan, or read out what Jonathan Drua has in Colorado, I think more, and everyone's praising Drua. Five foot nine is too hard on him? What do you mean? What does that mean? I'm not sure. Listen, if this is a downswing for him, it's all it is. It's a downswing. He's still putting up good numbers. When he's on an upswing, it's going to be even better. Um, so, Jordan's not getting paid much. So, so you're saying Caulfield should be putting up more for the money he's being paid. Well, Drouin was putting up barely that, if that, and getting that uh, almost as much. So there. Caulfield is too small. Caulfield's not too small. I mean, he's small, yes, but he he makes it work. He's getting open. He still moves around. Doesn't take a ton of hits. Is physical himself. Like I don't. Do you guys not see that? Okay, Drew makes eight hundred fifty thousand, Harry. But for five years, he made 5.5 and did fuck all except one season. And he's going to get praised because he gets 50-odd points. But Caulfield, who is a, has become a great playmaker or getting there and still has 55 points, is getting not getting praised? Why not? Don't tell Theo Flurry anything. He's crazy. That's number one. But yeah, tell that to Marty St. Louis. Tell that to well, you can't tell Henri Richard anymore, but get a get a, 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 a what do they call those guys? A clairvoyant and talk to uh, Henri Richard's spirit and tell him that. Uh, DJS got it right. Exactly. Just read D I'm going to put it up. Read this comment. That's exactly right. Harry, why do I have a feeling that if... If uh, Drew and was Trump, you'd vote for him. Or in other words, you'd, yeah, oh, you know what I mean. He was out of a toxic situation that he contributed at least half the toxicity to.
Yeah, but Theo has lost his mind. Lost his mind completely. Well, let me see. Uh, the season there were a couple seasons where he just wouldn't play after he did get hurt. He was back out, but he wouldn't play. Uh, he, uh, you know, I'm sorry. He let his teammates down. I don't care how you want to look at it. You know, the mental health here. I'll give him that, obviously. But overall, I'm sorry. He contributed as much to the toxicity as as uh, as Habs fans. Theo is off the dope. He's sane now. Yeah, I don't know. No, I saw some some t uh, tweets of his not too long ago. He ain't sane. Him and sanity aren't even in the same fucking universe. How's that? Oh, I like that uh, LeBron has a uh, tragically hip picture there of, uh, shit, what's his name? But he's got a picture. I like that. All right. I'm going to get some comments here that aren't going to drive me insane. Do I still think they take a Ginland draft? It's not, you know, it's not a question of whether I think or not. I, I said all along, a gut feeling I have. That's all. That's what I said. So it's not a question of, of, of thinking or this or that or over this guy or that guy. That's all. So when the haters are going to hate on me and saying, well, you got this. Well, no, it was a gut feeling. That's all. My gut feelings are wrong sometimes. Joe. Yeah, I know the season's over. It's, it's not why I'm in a weird mood today. You want Catton? See who they, I mean, he's definitely going to be an option in there, I imagine. Although I see Catton rank lower, like higher, lower, lower. Excuse me. They're showing uh, Shane Wright. Why? Not by Tankathon. He's number seven or eight. Yeah, it depends what list. Obviously, I mean, different lists, and some guys can be wildly different on different lists. So, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna trust whatever the Habs do. Plus, you know, um, the last two drafts, Montreal has not gone where everyone thought they've gone. Montreal has not taken the guy that, that people thought they'd take. It's very likely they do the same thing this year. But we won't know till draft day, which is a while away yet. It's a good bit away, a couple of months before we the draft. So lots of time to try to figure it out, I guess. But the time for me is not right now. It's too early for me to start figuring that out. Too many things can change. First, let's see if they get the lottery. 
If they get the lottery, it changes who, obviously, who they draft. Well, who's if they get the uh, if they win the lottery, <laughs> they're gonna get Celebrini. They have a chance if the lottery is not rigged, which I mean, some people think it's rigged. I don't think it's rigged. Some people do. If it's not, and I'm right, then they have a chance. If it's rigged, Montreal not getting it. <laughs> nope. There's a six foot seven defenseman at seven or eight or a player, whatever. He's a fighter and a first line center. Oh, he's a center. What do I think? What's his name? You don't know his name? Oh, somebody might have been telling me about him. I thought it was, that guy was a defenseman. Uh, Siliev's? Is that what you're talking about? Something like that? I don't feel they're going to – I mean, Iserman is probably going to be there when they pick. I don't feel they're going to take Iserman. It's something about character from what I'm reading. I don't know that he fits the character that they're looking at. <clears throat> isn't – Aiken, isn't it Sileyev that's the six foot seven guy? And I thought he was a defenseman. Iserman, Iserman is at five? Okay. Have I heard of a 14-year-old yet? Uh, yeah, I don't think the 14-year-old's getting drafted, though, Stephen, this year. Sportsnet? Yeah, I'm not surprised Sportsnet would. I'm not saying they did that, but I'm not surprised if they did that. Uh, who's it? Landon DuPont, 14 years old, and they're already talking about him. Well, he's still four years away, isn't he? Three years, three years away? Oh, Dean Letourneau, somebody mentioned him to me. Who was it? It wasn't you, Aiken, was it? Somebody mentioned him to me before. I don't know anything about him, to be honest. And that, oh, they said that he was high up, and then someone said, no, he's much farther down than the guy was saying. So they're not going to go reach for a guy like that who's like, whatever, you know, who's ranked at the end of the first round. I don't think so. I don't think they're going to reach like that. That'd be ridiculous. So you have the, at nine. It was you, Aiken. Okay, yeah, I thought it was you. He's still breastfeeding at fourteen. You know what? Today's day and age, maybe I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. They're just about. They're back for the second. We're underway. How, 30 sec yeah, that's right. 30 seconds left in the power play now. So that's it for the power play. That's over. And like a minute gone in the first. Just 
just because he's Bedard's cousin doesn't mean he's going to be good. Doesn't mean he's going to be bad either, but. I thought I heard a, a whistle. I swear I heard a whistle. Oh, I know why I heard a whistle. It's freaking running behind again. Oh, boy. For the love of Sportsnet. Can't love Sportsnet. It's horrible. Yeah, okay, but, Aiken, I, but I, I get it, but I, I wasn't really commenting on that. I'm just saying doesn't really mean anything. Uh, I guess I should upgrade. Shots are 15 to 12 still for Montreal. Still 2 to 1 for Florida. Ooh, nice little sneaky shot there by Savard. Another nice little shot there by Savard. Gallagher's, Gallagher's getting assaulted in front. No whistle. Referee's right there. Oh, Andy. Backhand shot. Just couldn't get it on net. Oh, nice center by, by Savar, but somebody knocked it away. Wrist shot by Jack I saved by the goalie. And he cannot buy a goal. No. What are they looking at? A potential goal? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. The puck might have gone in. I haven't seen the replay. Here it is. Oh, that's hard to tell. Remember, it's got to completely cross the line. Honestly, I don't know if that's completely over the line or not. But God damn, that is close. It kind of bounces off the pad. When it bounces off, I might be in. That might be in, but it won't count. They won't call that. But that looks like it might have, when it hit the pad, that was in. And then it bounced out. Uh, Joe, it wouldn't shock me. It also has to be 
um, it's got to be conclusive that it's in or they don't over. It's a goal. It's a goal. Look at that. We got a call. Look at that. 2-2 two, two, tie. Wow, we got a call. No wonder it's going to snow in the next two days. No wonder we got a call. I think I'm right. When it when it hit the pad, the it was in the net and then it bounced a little bit out. But when it hit, it was in. Not the first one. We got a couple this year, but not too many. Excuse me. Now they just took it away. What the hell is that about? Are they allowed to take two different looks at it? I don't, I, I really? That's not fixed what is. Never seen that before either. That's blatantly cheating. I mean, in my opinion... Yeah, Toronto called it off. Toronto, whatever happened, Toronto called it back. I think that was in. What the hell happened there? We kept one out. They're going to have a review of that and say, no, that one was in. Bizarre is not the word for it. Bizarre. I, I that was the goal, I think. I don't think the uh, coach can challenge for a goal. I don't think he can challenge that unless it's offside or goalie interference. I don't think that kind of thing they can challenge. They should be challenging for a referee competence. What do they should be challenging for? Oh, shit, that was close.
Five minutes into the second. Bloody refs. Suzuki, 70th point, 31st goal. Yeah, that was cool. Turnover right in the slot like that to Nick Suzuki. No doubt about it. Two, two. Should be three, two, but it is what it is. No do. No, Josh, you're not able to do that. Who was the last player to get 70? Uh, Domi. Harry, I suggest you get glasses. No, I'm sorry. That looked like it was a goal. It just crossed the line. Anyway, I think so. It was odd. It, at least, at the very least, it was an odd way. I've never seen anything happen like that before. The only thing I'll say is, if it wasn't conclusive, they can't overturn it. So they didn't feel it was. But I mean, to let the guy go out there and announce it, or the guy that went and announced it heard wrong what he was told to call. I mean, I, I don't know. That's going to be their explanation. There was that last, last view I saw of it, and I think it was a goal. Thirty one and thirty nine, seventy points. His next assist will give him three seasons in a row with twenty plus points and forty plus assists. I mean twenty plus goals, excuse me. Joe, I think I did too. Honestly, I think I saw that uh, like it was like a hair, but I think I saw white, but that we can do.
And he got it. Oh, well, nothing's going to happen. Yeah, I'm not saying they should have challenged. I just thought it was a goal. Refs should have saw that. But like I say, if it's inconclusive, they can't overturn. Why is Toronto the center of that's where the war room is in Toronto? Oh, good pressure here by Montreal. Oh, wow, Florida clears it out. That was a while. But we have more cups. They're not going to have it in Quebec. Jesus. They're not going to have it anymore. It used to be. The, the uh, NHL head office used to be in Montreal in the Sunlight Building. We're talking back in the late 70s, I think it moved. But when I was young, just starting out as a courier, I it was in that building. I believe it was the Sunlight Building, but it was in Montreal. I might have made a delivery or two there. 11 minutes left in the second. Shots are 23-14. Montreal's up. It's a tied game. And uh, I, uh, it's uh, 11 minutes left. 11 minutes left in the second. Or nine, one of the two. Right in the middle, Sportsnet just asked me to re-log in. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense, Sportsnet, you piece of shit. That's all I could say is you're a piece of shit. I would never suggest this to anybody. That's because you make me have to have a VPN, idiot. Ugh. Gonna miss an important goal because of this. Uh, good point, Lucas. Yeah, it's not the Leafs that make the call, but the war room is in Toronto. Yeah, I mean, if you think the Leafs are doing that, that's, that's yeah, forget that. Who said that? Somebody actually said it? 
No. Hey, Andre. Uh, Joe, are you aware I'm talking about in Montreal? Yeah, I think I might have gotten one there one year. I'm sure I've been there one or once, at least once or twice to deliver. Keith is making the calls. No, it doesn't work that way. That would be so obvious <laughs> cheating, right? I wouldn't put it past them, but it isn't what's happening. Calgary scored the big goal in Tampa. Okay. What big goal in Tampa? <laughs> Good one, who's a uh, Bruce? I feel you are right. What a stupid Pepsi commercial. Oh, with Morgan Riley. It was over the top. I thought it was just right. Oh, you piece of shit. A building block win? I, don't, I mean, nice to win. I, I mean, I guess. I don't Ooh, Caulfield with a bad angle shot. Caulfield got knocked down. Got a little slow to get up, but he's going to draw a penalty, I believe. Interference. I guess the guy that took Caulfield down. Sam Bennett. Yep. If he cross-checked him and that was interference, shouldn't it be two penalties? They've got a good penalty kill as well, uh, Florida. Um, seventh in the league? Ninth? Something like that. Uh, 
I wasn't upset at you, Bruce. Don't worry. I was just being sarcastic. Don't worry about it. You've never said anything to make me upset like that. Never. Don't worry about it. Don't even, don't even have to. I'm not accepting your apology because you shouldn't have to make an apology for that. We got a minute left in the power play on my screen anyway. Nah, don't don't let it don't worry about it, Bruce. You're always very polite. Don't worry about it. Thirty-five seconds. Caulfield with a, a wrist shot from close on the side, but I don't know. Did he, did he miss it? Matheson with a wrist shot that got deflected. And we get a power play goal. 3-2 Montreal. Suzuki with his second goal of the game and his 71st point and 32nd goal. I'm not always a gentleman, but I appreciate it. <laughs> it's well below the crossbar of Nick Suzuki. Nick Suzuki has a crossbar on him, really? Why is he pushing the hab guy out? Yes, they're still on a power blade. No, they took it away. Remember, though, people, there's a lot of hockey left. But they just got to play like they're playing. They're going to do fine. Third period is going to get ugly. We're not going to – it's not going to affect us. In, watch and see, Aiken. You've been saying this, and guys have been saying this, and we're six from the bottom, dude. We went down from where we were, so I don't know. Come on. No, it's probably Trudeau's fault. Probably Trudeau's fault, right? Get out of there, Gally. Hustle, maybe. Yeah, Lucas' problem is we got most of our rest games are against playoff teams. It's fine. It's still not going to affect them. They're going to finish fifth, sixth, or seventh. They ain't getting higher than that.
Aiken, whoever that was on Twitter is an asshole. I mean, he doesn't know it's hockey. And that's just dumb. What would have been the guarantee we would have gotten the first pick? Not, nothing. <clears throat> uh, David, from everything I'm reading, the Habs, the play. They're trying to win every game. What? How did um, Gallagher? It's like um, they're preparing for next year, where they expect to be competitive and play with every team they they play against. They're they're sort of getting in that frame of mind, I guess. I don't know how he put it. He put it in a different way. Let's save Monty. Abs taking a penalty. Pulling in for holding. Hey there, Phil. This is not an organic rebuild, David. This is a rebuild. Nothing organic about it. They're organically tanking, if anything, but not organically rebuilding. And I don't see it that way. All right. Hopefully the PK is up to up to snuff here. Wow, Verhage out till the first game of the playoffs. If that. Uh, Bruce, yeah, they uh, has been doing. Uh, yeah, they have been doing a good job of that. Organically tanking means they're not trying to lose, but look where they are. They're still six from the bottom. So obviously, they're that's organically to me. That's organically tanking without trying to tank. Halfway through the power play. So far, so good. I just don't know how you organically rebuild. That means a rebuild that just happens naturally? I mean, I don't understand. Right, Colin White can't do nothing. 
Would MSL allow what? Allow them to organically tank? Absolutely. There's nothing or nothing allowing to happen. It's organic. You can't organically rebuild because players don't just magically show up at, on your team. But rebuilding through the draft isn't organically rebuilding, and that's not all they're doing. They traded for Doc. They traded for New Hook. Oh, they killed that off. Nice. Two forty left in the second. I don't have a notion of organically rebuilding, David. You said it, not me. About a minute and a half left in this. I know, but you said organically rebuilding. You said it. I, I was going by what you said. Rebuilding through the draft is, I don't know if that's organically building. If, if that's what you mean, I get it, I guess. That's why I asked you, what do you mean? I don't know what an organic rebuild is. How many assists going into the game? 13, I believe, TNG. We're organically beating the Florida Panthers? No, that's nothing organic about that. They're working hard to do it. Joe, everything is through the roof, and it is a scam. For food, go blame Loblaws. I don't like it. Loblaws, Walmart, they're putting the prices up. Gouging. Blaming it on the car. But that's because they're morons, but I uh, hey. This is great that Montreal is going to, I mean, essentially 20 seconds left, but get out of the second period up 3-2. You got to think this third period coming up is going to be pretty physical, I'll say. It'd be nice. Probably very dirty. Three two Montreal after two. Um, next season should be a lot more fun than it has been lately. <coughs> I think we'll see some drastic improvement in the team next season. Will they get all the way? No, they they got a long way to go, but I think we'll see some yeah, drastic improvement.
I wonder what the uh, uh, Bruce. I wonder what the buy-in price is. Yeah, I kind of read something about again about the Peel Basin. I thought they lost that uh, option there. Um, we'll see if they get a if they get a baseball team back in Montreal. I'll be interested. I'll get back into baseball. Suzuki better be on. I think Suzuki will be on Team Canada. I don't know how you keep him off. He's playing. He's looking really good out there. He wants to be on there. I know that he wants to make Team Canada. I think he'll get. He'll get uh, picked. Again, David, if you're making, whether they're reasonably pr priced, whether they're bad trades, whether they're fantastic trades, they're trades, then kick, kiss organically out the window. That's all I said. Uh, Bruce, I don't know if there's, the, I don't know if we have the money for it, but listen, if there's somebody to want to bring a team here, I'll support it. Trades equal dock. Right. Yeah, I get it. I know what trades are. Between one and two billion US to get a baseball team here. Yeah, there's no baseball team coming here for that kind of money. Who's putting up that kind of money here? You never know. Maybe it's the Quebec government, you know, they like to waste money and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, Guru, <laughs> you're right. I mean, essentially, that's what I would probably do, but it would take a while because I'm really rusty. I haven't watched baseball in I don't know how long. I'd have to get, I, I'd have to watch a little bit. What's organic? I mean, uh, but David, organically grown vegetables, what does that mean? Naturally grown without all the chemicals and this and that. So organically losing is not trying to lose. And, you know, and still tanking. And at the bottom of the, that's what I mean. So you can't organically rebuild if you're not trying to rebuild. That's what I mean. That's it. Simple, simple. As long as the trades are not biodegradable, Joe's still in. Nice. Yeah, Bruce, I, I question how, where the money's coming from. David, we're going around in a circle, David. I'm not I don't I don't want to go around in a circle anymore. I mean, I get you made your point, I made mine. If we both don't understand each other, then at this point. All right, let's change subjects. Got 20 people in the room. Somebody got to want to talk about something. Anyway, if you have a question, if I can help, if I know it, if I don't, if you want to comment on the game, it's not about organically grown vegetables, please. No, David, I'm not saying you don't have a point. I'm just saying I don't think that's organically. It's not organically. That's all. It's semantics in a way, right? So it's not important enough to argue over. Who would be my oh, number one free agent target for next season? Nobody. I don't think they're going to target a free agent next season. Could I be wrong, though? I mean, I could. It depends on how they feel they are set up for possibly making the playoffs. 
I don't think going into next season they're going to be sure about anything. I don't think they're going to go after free agents. Not big ones, anyway. Maybe somebody to fill a hole. I, I don't see them spending big money on a free agent right now. Because the guarantee that they come out of this and they're in the playoffs next year or even the year after, there's no guarantee. So until they're sure of that, I don't think they do that. Our prospects are firing on all cylinders. And again, you're right, but it still makes no guarantee for next year. David, are you saying no free agent targets? See, we can agree. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that. I think it's too early. From and essentially, from what I've heard, can't you say? I think they feel that way too. I think. I think. Anyway. What do you guys think we're going to get for this third period? going to be uh, you got to think uh, Florida is going to come out to get a goal so this could be a really rough and tumble third period uh, Bruce I'm just going to tell you what I keep saying and I do say this over and over and over again it's too early for me for the draft I don't research these guys yet Usually, I kind of wait till the draft lottery, or at least leading up to it. But I mean, the draft lottery when we know where we're going to pick. I mean, we can do all kinds of stuff, talk about all kinds of games, and they win the lottery, and then as well, it's going to be celebrating. So you know what I mean. So and, and right now, I don't know a lot about you know. I know the name. I know he's the you know at top. Is the top end of the draft, but I don't know much about Berkeley Catton. I don't know about, much about even the guy I feel that they're going to take. It's just a gut feeling. I couldn't tell you that much about Iginla either. Draft them big? No, not just big. Draft them big and talented because there are lots of big guys that are talented today. Uh, Florida played last night and will crumble. I hope you're right, Joe, but, I mean, uh, Montreal's record against teams with um, second game back-to-back, -back, even though they're arrested, um, isn't great this year. So, I don't know. We'll see. I like the way Montreal's playing, though. I like the way they're playing. They just got to keep playing like that all Thursday. But Florida's going to come out, tired or not, whether they can do 20 minutes of – being like, I don't know, playing with days, being dirty because they're gonna, you gotta think they're gonna be dirty. They're always dirty. Well, we'll see. Third period's coming up. We'll see what we get. It's hard to tell. I have no idea. I, I'm going to assume Montreal is going to come out and play similar. I think it's Florida that's just going to come out and be dirty. I mean, everyone's down. Yeah, Bruce, I'm sure Catton does have exceptional talent. They all, I mean, all the kids that are at the top there, they all they didn't get there because they're not good. Uh, so, yeah, I just like I said, don't know enough. I don't think I've even seen a highlight of Catton. So only know some of the things I've read a little bit. I haven't read a ton. So you have to be patient with me. I mean, I do the same every year. I don't I don't do a lot of draft stuff till till it's time. I'm sure if I was a younger guy, if I was 30 years younger and had, I, I 
more energy to do this all day long. I'd probably be doing that, but you know, I just, I, I, it's too much. I do what I can. But seriously, though, we'll do, we'll do draft stuff. I mean, we're going to do, uh, we're going to do a lot of draft stuff, but I mean, these guys are going to be done on the 16th. There's not, there's no, there's no doubt about that, right? They're going to be done. So we'll have plenty of time to get into the draft and the players, you know. Yeah, well, Bruce, there's a reason why, you know, they might not go for a guy like Catton. He might not be big enough. We do have a bunch of small players. Depending on the type of player he is, maybe we got guys here that are just like that, and they don't need to add that same type of guy. And then looking at a different kind of guy. He might not check the character boxes that Montreal is going to check. Uh, I, like, I don't know. I don't know any of that. Yeah, David, you know, I, I absolutely remember that that trade that got them going from, uh, I believe, L.A., right? And, uh, yeah, but, like, you know, sure. But that obviously meant that they were a lot closer than Montreal is, you know? And trades. Yeah, Montreal's going to make trades. I We're talking about UFAs anyway, so do I think they're going to make trades? Yeah, I do. You're older than me, Bruce. I don't know how old you are. <laughs> I'm gonna say by your the way you're very polite and mannered, you probably are older than me. I don't know by how much, but I'm 61, so there's your context for it. Uh, Bruce, I mean, I was saying that to myself that this is I, this is all I do. I mean, mostly I don't only do this. But, I mean, hockey and uh, YouTube and all that takes up a lot of my time. And I'm not complaining. I'm really not. It's not a complaint. <laughs> I just think about it and go, geez, is that healthy? I don't know. Maybe it's not healthy. They may want to add different skills. Like, I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know who's got what set, you know, skill set, and all that. Uh, like, I, I got to do some research and compare guys. I don't know. The again thing, and I had said it from the beginning, was just a gut feeling. Will I build a podium for the draft? No, I will not. Well, Bruce, you are older than me, but not by much. Not by much. Joe, you've been drinking. That's good. I've been smoking. So you can drink. No problem. I'm not judging. As long as you don't drive, I'm good. What was who? Okay, wait. Uh, uh, David, since you're back on that, but who's seven year rebuild? If you're going to include in the rebuild, Anything before the management that's here now, it's not part of this rebuild. And it is what it is. It's not the same thing. You can't hold this management group accountable to the years that Bergevin did it and say, well, they can't take the time they need in their rebuild. So what's the use? And it's not going to happen right. So you can't go back and do that. And I see people doing that all the time. We've been rebuilding for this management. In that amount of years, we're not through our second full year of rebuild yet. It's the second year. That's it. That's all. I see it. You're 62 and therefore wiser. That may be true. I, you know, but if it's only one year, so probably not that much. And when you say wiser, and that may be true, but it doesn't mean on everything. I don't know. I'm just trying to defend myself now. <laughs> uh, 
But I think I think if you're if you're looking at the Bergevin years or before that, it's a mistake. They don't count, even though Bergevin did get quite a few of the well, a lot of the guys we're loving right now came in from him. Are they back uh, playing? No, no, they're not. But they're looking at highlights. We're getting closer to the third period. Oh, yeah, we're getting closer. Anyway. You know what? Before they come back on, so I don't have to sit here and squirm, I'll be right back as I go to the little uh, the little hockey player's room. Be right back. I'm going to turn the camera off. That's where I'm showing my age, struggling to get through a hockey game without peeing. I'm just getting smarter and not trying to hold it in the whole time. All right, where where, where was I? Uh, Joe, yeah, Bears fan was doing that, but he made some good pick, like had some good young players coming in because there's a bunch of them here. So it wasn't all bad, but I mean, even that, it's not part of this rebuild. Aaron Eckblad not coming back. Flaff took him out. You want to fight with me? I'm taking you out, man. Well, David, I think they are doing that, though, amongst, I mean, they are drafting well, and we're going to, yeah. It still doesn't make it organic, although I do get your point, though, there. I do get your point. That that would be probably, you're right. Caulfield scores, and now I see it. He announced it 10 seconds ago because Sportsnet sucks. Caulfield with his 21st goal. Nice. I'm trying to get this goddamn thing. I'm refreshing. And it just falls farther back. Sportsnet is the worst. Jesus Christ. Well, this is from TSN2, but it's Sportsnet that I got the package from. Their service is... To say it's horrible is too nice.
It's so slow. It's like I'm watching the last period while you guys are on. The th- I'm still in the second. Anyway. Caulfield from Slath and Gooley. Slash. Spinning on myself. 42nd point. 42nd point for Slap. Four two Montreal, yeah. It turns it turns out that Florida's um, bad streak is gonna is continuing. Also, this is a preview, sort of, because they're even going to be better. But this is a preview of how this team is going to look. Down the road, they are going to be a good team and they're going to be something to deal with for other teams. I mean, you know, and that's what they're playing for. They're trying to play like this because it's something that um, Gallagher said. Um, I read it and I can't remember the exact quote, but um, yeah, they're trying to be as competitive as possible and win and just show other teams what next year is going to look like. Prepare. Montreal's coming. Florida is on back-to-back, but they are on a bad streak, so I think it's a little bit of both, but you're right. I kind of forgot about that. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't mind. We're also 30 shots to 20. And uh, so good night on the shot clock and not giving up shots. So yeah, I don't know that they're dominating them, but they're outplaying them. Now, there's still 17 minutes to go. So uh, there's a lot of hockey left, and that could change. Let's hope not. Because if they start getting really dirty and stuff like this, game could still swing. Three minutes gone here in the third. Florida can have organic oranges. Yes, they can. Oranges can definitely be organic. (coughs) But let's not get into that, please. David and I both worked it out. We're good. I like that fact that Montreal is still playing good. This is another one of those 60-minute games. They haven't, you know, it's not 60 minutes yet, but they've played well the whole game. There hasn't been that letdown. I like that. And that's uh, lately, like the last 10 games or so. Four minutes in to the third. Suzuki over to glass, delay of game. Florida on the power play. Yeah, he does it does. He flicks it and it sticks on his stick and it ends up going the other way and out. Not much you can do. This game not over yet. I mean, the power play, if Florida scores here, it could make things change a bit.
And there you go. 5-2. Montreal. Short had a goal. Jake Evans. Well, I called this game 5-3 Florida. I think I might get the score wrong. It's the other way. Aiken, I'm going to say I agree with you there pretty much. You know what? If Montreal says that to themselves, and, you know, that it might not be, but if they keep playing like this, they're not going to lose this game. They're tired. You're right. It's the back-to-back -back probably. At the end of the season, back-to-back, -back, which Montreal's got this weekend, eh? Toronto and the Rangers, back-to-back. -back. And then they end the season back-to-back -back with Detroit. Did they ever turn the tables? You know, a tired Florida team, no Kachuk, no Verhage, you know? They were there for the taking. And so far, Montreal is taking. No, you don't understand him more than I do. I already told him I understand. I I gave in there, just like the, I don't, you know, I don't get it. Fine, all good. Uh, Matt Outdoor, I'm gonna comment this time. I agree with you on that. That's why it's still there's a lot of hockey still to come. And if Florida feels that they need to, they're going to get dirty here and try to win that way. Don't put it past them. Although we just, uh, they just took a penalty. Nice. Four on four for 43 seconds. Hooking call on uh, Listerine and. Jesus, Reinhardt strong on the puck. Oh, how did Barkov miss that? Wow. 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 Monty got lucky there a bit, too. He had Monty beat, but he just could not back get the backhand on it. The guy just repeated after what I said. <laughs> uh, Who's it? You're missing a good game, dude. Hey, Ken, I don't know why you're saying sorry. Did you do something? So Montreal's on the power play now. Minute and seven left. Oh, shorthanded try. Oh, oh, that's it. Kill. Don't let people do that. Oh, no, don't worry about it. A minute left on the Habs power play now. Come on, boys. Let's get another one. Why not? Ooh, a steal by Stedman.
30 seconds left in the power play. Matheson all alone scores. Wow, that looked like it went in. I was close. I love that the Habs are going for another one. Don't take your... Oh, wow. That was a collision. Sandwich. and uh, Florida Panther Oreo. Is that a taking a penalty for what? Okay, don't show it then. We're vo what's V O O L, uh, David? Cool. Yeah, we're cool. Don't worry about it. We're cool. And we got just over 11 minutes left there. Five to two. Can they hang on? Yeah, I think they're going to hang on. I think so. Unless they beat us into submission, I don't, I don't see them getting three goals. Do I see them maybe getting a goal or two? Yeah, that could be. I don't see three. Hopefully. Montreal's not playing like they're going to just break down and that it's going to be over. Like They're not playing like that. Hey, Derek, Tony. Yes, Montreal doing good tonight. They sure are. They got well. Th this week it's four big teams in a row: Florida, Tampa, Toronto, Rangers. So you know if they can win here, take advantage of it. Where's that Matheson shot replay? What are you talking about? Is that the replay they showed for the Pazetta penalty? Tripping. I still didn't see it. I'm skeptical. Off the post. Minute 32 left in the power play. Hmm. 
Ooh, really lucky right off the post. That was close. Good, I mean, they're doing a good job kind of keeping them to the outside as well. Oh, wow, Monty. Two good saves. Nice. 35 seconds left. Oh, the one I thought, oh, I, I mean, it hit the top corner of the bar and popped out, didn't go in. It just looked like it for a sec. Oh, good. Now the Monty save. Power play over. PK unit has been good tonight. Not even Matt. Montreal still up on shots. Five two. Thirty four twenty nine is the shots. Under eight and a half minutes left. They are quickly running out of time. If not already out of time. Can I explain how we best those big teams like they're playing tonight? Play their game 60 minutes, work hard, all they can do. But do I expect them to beat those, like, all four? No. I expect them to play well. I don't expect them to beat them. I mean, I didn't expect it tonight either. I mean, Habs were due to beat Florida. Eight losses in a row. I mean, they were due. Florida not playing well. Montreal on back-to-back. -back. No Kachuk. No Verhege. They're, they were due. And even at that, Montreal has to play, like, a, you know, a great game. But they are. They're playing the game they need, and uh, they're, they're playing it well. Oh, oh, is that Anderson again? Addy can't buy one, man. That was just so close. Man, Josh just can't get one.
off the pad and up and over the net. It's part of the game sometimes, man. It's got to find a way out of it. And maybe he doesn't find that till next year. Oof. What are we doing for time? I just thought of the time. Not bad. Watch him score 30 next year. Yeah. Well, he hasn't yet, but I could see 20 on a comeback year, maybe a little more. Definitely. Still young. It's not like he's old. He's just having that, like, snake bit season. And it happens. And it may be the signal that, you know, that it could be the, how he is the rest of the way. But might not mean anything. Uh, Calvin, yes, they are. They're playing really. They're playing a really good game so far, and with uh, about six something left, uh, I can't see uh, Florida coming back from that. I mean, theoretically they could, but I don't, I don't see it happening. That's the most electrifying save of the night, really? I don't know about that. Uh oh. Evans and Cousins. And Galley's getting beat the hell up, or they're trying to. Uh, Gallagher and Montour. And they're going to, that's okay. Guys are allowed to do that. Take the fucking guy off of Gallagher. What the hell's wrong with them? Told you they're going to get like that. Cousins should be out of the game, too. That's that's not... Well, kind of was shoulder to shoulder. Gallagher's done for the night. Yeah, because, I mean, you know, what happens when you get thrown around like that? You're, you're a bad guy. Cousins getting tossed. So Montreal getting a power play here. Uh, Lucas, yeah, Montreal played, um, Cousins played here one season. Got traded at the deadline that year, too. He wasn't dirty like this when he was here in Montreal, though, but he's he's dirty now. Six minutes left.
Montreal uh, Slav just took a penalty. Oh, no. Florida took the penalty. Five on three for 125. Let him blow a gasket, man. Let him blow a gasket. Aiken, yes, 11 points in 11 games for Slap. Yeah. Flashing call for Listerine. Just over five minutes left. Minute five on the two men. Oh, oh! Wow, they're just good. Good on New Hook to get in there and pull the guy off. Slap is going to be something to deal with in a couple of years, man. Hey, Bill. Habs are playing well tonight, yeah. In that, Slaff gets the offsetting. It better be offsetting. Yeah, Florida, they're doing that, what I said. They're going to get dirty. They are. Montreal getting dirty right back, or at least standing up. Good save, Monty, on the breakaway. Be Monty's first uh, win against Florida, too. If they're getting another call, slashing ninety one Florida. So what is it? Can't go worse than five on three, right? Yeah, it's a union meeting. Here, one penalty's over. No, it's still a two man. What did I see? Oh, you're right. You're right. Because there was that. You're right. Okay. 
Come on, let's get another one. Now the second two man advantage is over. Power play, minute twenty three. Save Stolars. Been a hell of a a hell of an ending. And we ain't over yet. Three nineteen left. Now they'll go for a commercial. Why not? It's not five on three anymore, Calvin. Yeah, it's five on four now, yeah. Two on one here. Monty with the saves. Arby's has the meats. Monty has the saves. Power play over. Two minutes left. Not surprised by Sid. Still rolls on. And Bennett scores 5 3. With 116 left. 5-3. I picked the wrong teams for this. I had the score, just the wrong team. Through traffic, too. I don't think Monty saw that. I was not talking to Alex today. No, nope. I didn't hear what Tortle. I just know he said did something. I didn't know what he did. They're not pulling the goalie. That's odd, though. Thirty seven seconds left. Yeah, Florida got one finally. 
Somebody going in a box, really. Jesus. Who got the penalty? Slaff gets a penalty. Bennett is 18th from Kulikov and Lundell. Monty would have saved 26 seconds left. So Monty going to win this first game against his former team. Good for Monty. And they clear it. That will do it almost. Ten seconds left. Remember, I'm behind. That's it. Montreal beats Florida 5-2-3. Nice game by Montreal. All right, I'm not sticking around because I got a show to do on the other channel. Link is in the description. Don't puck with media. We're going to do a post game over there. And at this point, less than 10 minutes. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Next game is Thursday. Tampa is in town. Another big game. Hopefully you guys will be there, and I'll see you on the post-game show. Check it out. Link in the description to get there, and that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Till next time, stay safe out there. Peace out, and I'll see you soon. Ciao, everybody.